Like, yeah, why not? The mouth is a better option, like, no, than... it's not, because the bird just chose the mouth anyway. Yeah, but, still, like, imagine if it came out of the eye instead of the mouth. It's still be as disgusting, I'd, but... Yeah, I'd feel a bit better about the eye. I wouldn't feel a bit better about the, the mouth, eye. Imagine I spat in your face, just now. DA got that dope. Unorthodox reactions. Another one. Unorthodox intro. We the best. Welcome back. DJ Khaled. To another. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another Unorthodox reaction. Today, we've got for you a casual geographics video. We are going to be learning more about animals, of course, because we like to learn about animals no, so we, we can so no, we, we can make no, sure we no. stay as far away from them as possible no, not me and stay not me alive i'm and part not of the untouchables death i'm part of the untouchables be an animal i'm part of the untouchables that i am part of the like untouchables. a pedo group <laughs> what is that the untouchables <laughs> not the touches <laughs> the untouchables what is that i don't know we just can't be <laughs> we can't be killed right? we can't be <laughs> what the hell what do you mean that sounds like no it doesn't be untouchable no it doesn't <laughs> it does. what what kind of group do you know <laughs> are you alright is there something you want to tell me what do you mean I'm just saying that's what I, like literally when I heard it I was like what, what is this like some kind of are you weird... part of a group that you want to tell me something I'm I'm not part of any group I'm I'm a solo act alright so you're just a peer <laughs> Apparently, you're, like, just, like, you're just a self, self proclaimed. Self proclaimed. I do this alone. Ain't nobody out there grinding with I me. I work solo. Ain't nobody out there touching these kids. Ain't with nobody me. can keep up with me. Uh, guys, we don't touch kids. We touch grown men. <laughs> we don't touch anyone. Whoa! All keep right. that to yourself. Okay, we. I'm touch normal, myself. We're normal people. We <laughs> right. Let's leave it at that. Anyway, casual geographics, the good, the bad, and the disrespectful ways animals protect themselves. I really like that title. That's what I think that's one of his cooler titles. It's just like the good, the bad, and the I like you. I'm sure we get it. Graphic. You get it. Yeah. Hood nature. I like it. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's very nice. cool. Very cool. When are we gonna get a drawing of us like that? Whenever one of them sees first two no, oh. make a drawing or illustration to flatter us, you know. If you want to, if you feel like if boosting you, our egos, like if you feel like it, yeah, feel it's a lot of it, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying. It's a bit, you know? like, basically, my ego is already like <laughs> here, right? No, sorry. It's like here. And like, you can just give that a little bit of My ego is kind of, you know, just balanced, yeah. always balanced. I, if you want to just kind of tip I it over no a little ego. bit, you know. I have no ego. It's just a little wave, you know. No ego. <laughs> no ego here. But I'm there with you. Let's get right into it. We waste so much time Facts. every day. How long has it been? Like, it's actually been three minutes. <laughs> that was three minutes flew by. The following video may offend you. The following video was sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> oh, who's bleeding? Is that open? Why are you so close? That guy deserves an award. A Darwin Award. You remember that video I made? What? Animals that got absolutely. That guy deserves an award. Darwin Award. Darwin Award. video I made on animals that got absolutely screwed by nature. Well, if Ooh. I would have known just how bad this guy has it, not not that guy. Him, <laughs> I definitely would have RSVP'd a spot for you. Why that is he? It's a dwarf sperm whale. If you've never heard of them before, there's a pretty uh... good and slightly depressing reason. This pint-sized porpoise typically measures at seven to nine feet long, can weigh in at six hundred pounds. It's and while that would make it a, a whale. Year, for an animal with whale in its name, it's pretty. Yeah. Good and that's what makes it the light work of the ocean. Ouch. The thing is, being plus size works for whales since they're too massive for anything to be a legitimate threat to them. Anything that isn't a malicious equality dolphin. And being small for a whale makes you the perfect candidate to be an orca source of protein. Dwarf sperm whales also regularly get meal prepped by great white sharks. And can even get griefed by a bold enough fur seal. With the ocean being the gauntlet of disrespect that so often is, it almost makes sense when dwarf sperm whales beach themselves. That and the fact that with its sonar not working in shallow water, the whale basically... <coughs> That's so rude. He said, F the ocean, bro. I'm going on land. I'm dying. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going on land. I don't care if I die. I'm going on land. I'm I've breathing had enough. air. I'm breathing I've air. I've had enough. <laughs> I need... And as a result, panics. So much so that they often factory reset themselves to heart failure. And this kind of thing happens a lot more than you'd expect. 
to the point where most of what we know about this dwarf whale comes from the individuals that beach themselves. And I just, I just imagine like they beach themselves and then humans see it and then throw him back in. And it's like, hey, no, <laughs> he comes back on land and it's just like a whole cycle. Obviously, nature felt bad for running away from home. <laughs> nature gave it a secret weapon. Dwarf sperm whales are equipped with a sack near its anus filled with reddish brown fluid that I've been told looks a lot like chocolate syrup. So far, okay. no one's been great enough to see if it tastes as good. No. This crest porpoise feels threatened. Let's keep it that way. Flavored contingency plan the same way a squid might do with ink. The idea being to confuse a predator long enough to escape to get put on a shirt another day. What looks like a blue whale's time of the month is actually a dwarf whale matrix ducking death. Although oh. admittedly, it doesn't take you very far if you proceed to skull check a rock in the process. <laughs> in a world where death can be waiting at every corner, animals had to get creative to live long enough to make more of themselves. You can be a turtle and carry your personal panic room on your back. Mm. You can equip yourself with spines and quills to make sure if you go down, Ooh. you don't go down alone. Oh. If you're a predator, staying camouflage can ensure your victims never see you coming. I don't Steve, know where the animal is. Oh, here. dang, that's so good. It was important in the wild, but just as important on the internet with your precious data. Which is why NordVPN creates an encrypted tunnel for data and protects your All right. by hiding your right. IP address. Hiding nice. my IP address is exactly what I needed considering what I had to do to my search history for certain parts <laughs> of this video. You'll know it when you see it. NordVPN allows you to connect every one of his video search history must be like crazy. Facts. If you wanted to watch SpongeBob, you yeah, know, that's, that's what mine is basically. ADHD. If you can't watch so it in your doing research for a if video. You have, yeah, if you ever see a laptop, or, I'm actually doing research for other videos that right. I film. So, just so you know, if you find mm. like I don't know animals and humans, it's, it's just all research. I don't it's know just, why you felt the need for me to. I have zero reason to ever go on your laptop. No, but I'm just letting you know because uh, okay, maybe my laptop's in case, open one day. Yeah, mm. like I'm just letting you know now. Right, right. Obviously, yeah. I'll remember That's when, what, when, it, when business it purposes. Of well. course, yeah, of course. exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm. Just know Australian Netflix got you. Also, Nord servers are super fast, so you never have to feel like you're choosing security over speed. <clears throat> and with NordVPN's threat protection, you can be safe from ads, trackers, and malware. So to protect your data, get the most out of your streaming service, and to make sure I get paid, go to <laughs> nordvpn.com slash casual geographic to cop a huge discount for a limited time. And with Fair NordVPN's enough. money back guarantee, it's basically risk-free. Unfortunately, risk-free is something that applies to zero aspect of this whale's way of life. And when you play the game of life on veteran difficulty just by playing it in the ocean, you have no choice but to get creative. Just ask the hagfish. Ew. One of the most vile things in the sea. The hagfish diet consists of all the things society would normally bury or flush down the toilet. And that can involve borrowing itself into a rotting and possibly diseased corpse and eating its way out. Anything with a meal plan like that probably isn't something you should think about eating yourself. Yeah. Unfortunately, most fish don't have a thought process. Which is why when stressed and pressed, the hagfish will produce a bucket's worth of slime itself. Oh, is that one? The end game to trying a hagfish is the very real possibility of suffocating into slime yeah. bugs and gills. And the fish that thought it scored easy calories now ah. chose to a flat line. In 2017, a truck carrying hagfish yeah, he's showing us this before. slime to turn the highway in the final destination. It's like a Mario Kart item that just slipped past the sensors. Pun intended. And for those of you questioning what a gang of goo gubbies was even doing on a truck, well, apparently the hagfish is a delicacy in some places. Of course it would be, wouldn't it? Me, that's for sure. Don't bother asking why. No answer satisfying enough. People also eat cucumbers. And I don't just mean the underage pickle. I was like, what's wrong with cucumbers? The sea cucumber is an echinoderm related to starfish and sea But it looks like it identifies as something you'd wipe off the bottom of your shoe. Facts. And ironically, that's exactly the kind of stuff they eat. This bottom feeder inhales everything from the dead, disease, and decaying to the stuff that's already passed through another animal's system. Yeah, bottom feeder. That's a good one. <laughs> and like the hagfish, the sea cucumber has some of the weirdest forms of self-defense you'll ever see. Exhibit A, anal teeth. You what? didn't think you were going to hear those words when you were Wait, there. What? It's happening. And it is exactly what it sounds like. And it's all because some species Wait, of what? the pearl fish will use a sea cucumber as a protective bunker. And they do this by turning its south exit into a double lane highway. And if a money shooting slime snake or a butt blasting baby whale didn't demonetize me, this definitely did. <laughs> so to keep squatters from breaking in through the back door, many sea cucumbers have anal teeth designed to keep prostate pokers away. And it's not the only defense they have. Okay. So wait, does that mean like when they go in the mouth, then they eat them? Or is it just, I like, just let them swim around for a bit and then just escape? What do you mean? Because <clears throat> obviously if, if the animal confuses their mouth for them, the um, behind, and then they swim into their mouth. Because obviously he says that they eat like, um, oh, yeah. Because I don't know if the animals are part of their diet or not. Like, do they no, eat they were, anything or yeah, do they, they eat like, eat it, I don't know if they can digest it. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Because from what he said about the diet, they pretty much just kind of eat like yeah, but no animals dumb enough to and go stuff into like that. Wow. Yeah, he thought he, he um they're thinking it's the animal. You're dumb. So. You're dumb. I'm dumb. You're dumb. 
the animals who go into their mouth fish that would go in it's about apparently like, yeah oh let's go in here like, oh i'm not wasting it i'm in there <laughs> Predators will ignore the sea cucumber as a dinner option thanks to the many forms of toxin they have. And when threatened, the sea cucumber will release some of the poison out its lower half as an appetizer. And somehow that's not the weirdest thing that can come out of a cucumber. Because as a last resort in the face of certain death, the sea cucumber will respond by ejecting its internal organs fresh out of its anus in a display that's guaranteed to traumatize any predator that messes around why? the result found out. And like its cousin the starfish, the sea cucumber has the ability to regenerate any organs it negotiated in the heat of battle. And best believe they abuse it. You've never seen an animal weaponize its poop shoot like a sea cucumber. Okay. Actually, you have. If you've seen the honey badger, you can find this family huh? ferret's face on the Mount Rushmore of disrespect. And one of the reasons is because it too has a secret weapon. Because when a honey badger wants to make a scene, it'll flip its anal pouch inside out. It's amazing how many but they can do that? Can come up in one video. This Oreo weasel reversing its anus and the smell that comes with it is about as bad as you'd expect. Not only is it suffocating enough to ward off predators, it's also believed to temporarily paralyze attacking bees long enough for this black air force to make off with our honey and larvae. So when I call this a steroid skunk, I'm not very far off. A lot of things can come from an encounter with a honey badger, but a Febreze of liquid booty to the nose probably wasn't something you'd expect. The honey badger is just a four-legged assault on all five senses. Why are you the recording way, this, man? Get the safety. The Vultures get clouded off eating all the things nobody else in nature wants to deal with. You know, I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. Vulture stomach acid is so corrosive that these coarse pigeons can eat the most dangerous substances in the world and go back for seconds. Botulism, cholera, and anthrax would all turn any other scavenger into a skeleton, but vultures are able to handle it. For mm. reference, botulism is a toxin that attacks the nerves and can lead to difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, and permanent sleep mode. And it only takes the smallest amount to put you in a coffin. But the Dang. nervous system of the vulture is able to eat botulism like candy. Vultures <laughs> actually make the world a better place by eating all the nastiness other animals would die trying. But it makes how they defend themselves even worse. If anything gets too close to a vulture's nest, it will respond by vomiting half-digested sewer-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I just don't want to. Normally they do this only as a distraction. But if any of the violation marinating inside them gets in your face and eyes, it's not going to be a good time to be alive. Yes, yeah, and there's be never a good time to be around this for the same reason. Oh, now yeah. I can confidently say I've made it abundantly clear that I don't approve of anything this morally bankrupt graveyard goose stands for. If Happy Feet were Shawshank Redemption, these birds would have been the same. Oh, that might be a dated reference, but um, considering what I'm watched referencing, the video maybe it's before. a good thing if you don't get it. Something yeah, I don't, know, I don't remember the name. Petrols are the freeze-dried vultures Petrus. of the southern seas. Petrus. It's died of the dead, decaying, and downright disgusting. Is why sailors also nicknamed it the Stinker. And as you can probably guess, nesting yeah. petrols will defend themselves by projectile vomiting the contents of its stomach. And unlike vultures who do it as a distraction, petrols will actively aim at oh, the God. face and eyes. Since not I felt like that actually hit me. Petrol. Bro, if that if if that I actually happened that, to me in real life, you best believe that chick is getting stabbed. Oh, that's so not even funny. So now I don't have, bro. I told you that when you when this when if if it's them starting it first, then you bro, we're gonna have to square you're, up. You're gonna lose. We're gonna have to square you're up. Gonna lose. I'm not fighting for like free with my fist like you. I'm I'm taking a knife with me, bro. A freaking sword, in fact. Like we're gonna have to square get, up. Get that reach going or something. Like I'm not yeah, getting we, close that to that. Was it. a fire in your face, bro. bro. I'll I'll be so heated. Face, like, you don't even understand. I'll be so. Heated. He's right. I would be so freaking heated. Oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, oh. Doing that to a bird that has to swim for a living is like clipping the wings off a Cessna. It's a dick move. Wait, what? Since not only can it blind a potential predator, it's so acidic it can eat away at the waterproof coating of feathers. Ah, okay. Doing that to a bird that has to swim for a living is like clipping the wings off a Cessna. Mm. It's a dick move of the highest order. And if you take a petrol stomach oils to the face, people several miles downwind will be able to smell how your day is going. Oh god. And while the smell does wear off, the emotional scars of witnessing what this lizard does last way longer. The horned lizard is a fearsome, intimidating dinosaur that time left behind. Or at least it would be, if he wasn't only four inches long. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly average and I'm sure Spikey, don't person. hold it like that. <laughs> I don't know how see where he said that. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly average and I'm sure he has a great personality. <laughs> but personality doesn't save him from basically being a dinner roll to threats like wildcats, coyotes, and occasionally wolves. That's so a cool life is ass danger, cat. Being a dinner roll to threats yeah, like that was wildcats, beautiful. Coyotes, and occasionally wolves. I'll never get near so it in my life. life in danger, but... The horned lizard does something so drastic that I'm going to go ahead and put this right here to give you time to mentally prepare yourself. The lizard takes aim and shoots blood. That didn't even give me enough time. And while the oh, I've seen this one. Evaluate his life choices and whether or not he should get tested. The uh. lizard <laughs> slips away to become someone else's life lesson. Not only does squirting its own Kool-Aid confuse mammalian predators, it also tastes bad enough to make them decide it's not worth the calories. But as for why it has to be out of their Ew. eyes, I do not know. It's like the up, like the reverse sharing gun. Like ah. Uh. 
Like literally, yeah. Why not? the mouth is a better option? Like no, then it's not because the bird just chose the mouth. And it yeah, was... but still, like imagine if it came out of the eye instead of the mouth. It still be as disgusting, I, but yeah, I'd feel a bit better about the eye. I wouldn't feel a bit better about the, the eye. Imagine I spat in your face just now. Versus versus I what? I water out my eye on your face. Exactly. Yeah, but okay, but okay, no, but, uh, the, exactly. but no, that's not the same thing though, because then it would be like imagine if you spat in my face versus if the saliva came out of your eye. No, because that's not saliva. because no, then it's that's blood. Exactly. So imagine, <laughs> <laughs> but that's something. It has to be the same liquid and either no, coming out of your mouth or your eyes. The picture is like um throwing up, in and that's face. what I'm saying. Imagine and if the throw up come from his eyes instead of his mouth, it'd still be throw up, so it'd still be as disgusting. I don't know. I don't know. It just makes it feel like his eyes are like damaged or something. Yeah, true. Yeah. Why not? But honestly, if a pupil period's how you want to live your life, who am I to judge? And even though you'd expect this bloodlusting lizard to be an Australian citizen, it's actually from Bro, the it look like it's gliding. You know what that looks like? Honestly, if a pupil like, period citizen, that looks like he's upside down and the camera just flipped yeah, and it's just and falling, it's falling down. down. It's actually found in the American Southwest. For your daily dose of Australian nonsense, look no further than the strophers gecko. You know, it's cool. Like, I'm not sure if that's him still with his eyes open or not. I think it's. Oh, no, look, that's his eyes open. Eyes open. So I'm like, that must be eyes closed, right? Uh, eyes might still be open there, though, okay. That's weird. Happens to snatch it up. But of course, this gecko has a comeback. It's got matching Despite pupils. What I'm about to tell you, I can assure you that wasn't a pun. Instead of blood, the gecko releases a foul smelling, bitter tasting fluid from its tail. And like with the lizard's blood, the gecko's money shot is rank enough to convince most birds not to eat it. Alternatively, mixing the fluid with ammonia produces a highly flammable substance. And my condolences to the family of whoever had to find that out. Oh, These God. are so confident in their secret weapon that they'll often bask in the sun in shrubberies in broad daylight in clear view of predators. Most geckos avoid conflict by being nocturnal. So this one exposing itself while also having no venom or spines means... I was gonna say, what well, if the animal sneaks up the number? I guess that's hard with, like, the way their eyes are yeah. and stuff. You're looking at a cocky lizard. <laughs> Especially since, even though it is foul-tasting, the fluid by itself is technically harmless. Which you can't say about the tomato frog. In the wild, this frog is only found in one place, and that's on the island of Madagascar. Unfortunately, that means it also shares an area code with over 80 different species of snakes, most of which have no problem with mm. a frog named after a fruit on a grocery list. <laughs> But of course, this bite-sized frog ain't the easy lick it looks like. When a hungry snake on the hunt starts looking at this frog the wrong way, it'll puff itself up and inflate to make itself look as intimidating well, the as the snake possible. still bite it. If that and the fact that this frog shares a color scheme with a red flag doesn't work, it moves on to plan B. As soon as a snake makes contact, the frog releases a sticky, glue-like substance from just under its skin. Not only is the glue an assault on the tongue, it also irritates the inside of the snake's mouth. And if mm. the snake's too stubborn to let go, it can end up getting its jaws gummed together for a couple days. Oh. Enough for the snake to tell his friends what happened. <laughs> but it's not just snakes that can get a life lesson. A lot of people will keep this affiliated Kermit as a pet. Which is fine, except if you handle Why? it too long or stress them out in any way, you can end up getting glued and occasionally it can trigger an allergic reaction in people. It won't kill you, but it's why owners are advised not to try and handle this frog. And for mental health reasons, you shouldn't handle the hair kill you, but it's why The gummy substance contains the toxin that officially allergic reactions in humans the allergic reaction would not okay it's just basically Owners what he just said not to try and handle this frog and for mental health reasons you shouldn't handle the hairy frog either it got its name from the hair like structures that grows on males but the Where reason for that is that animals animals those structures help the frog absorb more oxygen and allows him to spend more time underwater and look after his family of eggs but it's also known as the wolverine or horror frog and the backstory for that is a lot less wholesome because when this central african frog chooses violence it'll purposely break the bones in his toes force them through the skin and then use them as diy claws imagine going to fight a guy oh. who gives himself an open fracture and then tries to slash what's him. that um superhero guy that can use his bones as like weapons I thought I remember if it was DC or Marvel as well, but I'm like, well, like does this and bones come out? Yeah, and that. bones come out. Like here, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't actually. I think <laughs> I think that might be an anime. <laughs> I'm thinking of. I'm not even sure anymore. But like, that's crazy. Imagine you get into a fight, and some guy just takes his arm, his, his bones, it, and I'm like, ah, uh, that is anime. Freaking Naruto. Oh, okay. Yeah, Stuff there's like a guy in there. He's basically he can like literally like take out his bones and use as weapons. Yeah. The bones do heal and the tissues eventually regenerate, but the mental image it inflicts on anyone involved stays with them for life. Claws themselves might not look that bad, but if we solve conflicts by Anderson Silving ourselves, world peace would be our only option. 
If you don't get that reference, you're one of the lucky ones. Thank but you. But snapping yeah. your own bones and I feel lucky. weapons wasn't metal enough, one ant somehow managed to take it a step further. Because when the Malaysian Kalabasis Saunders colony is under attack, as a last resort, a soldier ant will violently contract its abdomen until two poison-filled glands explode. These ants full-on kamikaze themselves, while also taking out any enemies caught in the toxic blast radius. The glue is acidic, corrosive, and strong enough to immobilize attacking ants. And while turning itself into a tactical puts the soldier out of commission, it sacrifices- Is that an ant? Oh my god, that looks weird up close. Look at that. It looks like a weird face. Okay, it is a weird face. It looks like a, like a blown up walrus. I don't know. Save his entire colony. Because if the invading ant colony wins, go murk the queen, steal all the food, and even capture some of the soldiers on the blue side and keep them as slaves. Which is why, if it gets to that point, this ant will self destruct for the good of its colony. And also why if ants were human sized with nuclear weapons, they'd probably end all life on Earth in a week. And that's gonna do it for this video. For more consistent content and daily uploads, be sure oh to follow my me on God. and TikTok. And to watch these videos before I post them, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. And if you haven't pre-ordered my new book yet, go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to home and out. Yeah. Attention span or being illiterate isn't an excuse. I'm not sure until I have actually have money to buy that. I'm glad you weren't born an ant, and I'll see you in the next one. In a bit. Well, I was gonna say, like... It's actually so cool that I, I'm actually like glad that his channel exists because half of these like animals or creatures and stuff like I would have never known they existed. Never heard of them. Or like even like something like ants, I would have never known they had like these type of characteristics yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And it's like it really and like good. you know like the normal freaking docu uh, like um nature channels and stuff like they don't present it in a fun like interesting way yeah, to learn yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It's kind of make it boring. I like the way that he does it, and he just kind of makes it more entertaining to like learn about these stuff. Yeah, and stuff you're like really that. pointing out the obvious, aren't you? Yeah, he's got like sometimes you just a have million to say plus it. subs. Sometimes I think you just have to say it. I think people knows he. I mean, people know he's good, and he knows he's good. Yeah, but I, I, but I just know in case he's good. He didn't know. No, he knows, but you know, it's still hmm? you're ugly. I know exactly, but me saying <laughs> it. <it's not> <laughs> That was rude. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, I feel attacked. On that note, we're logging out. We're done for the day. That's like, comment, done. subscribe. Nah, don't even like or comment. Don't, e don't even watch this video. Don't know why you guys are still here. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. No,